Central Michigan football coach John Bonamigo joining us in studio today to talk about his newest recruiting class. Thank you for joining us. Great to be here. Thanks for having us. You have a brand new class of freshmen coming in. How excited are you for this new group? Well, you're always excited. Recruiting really never stops. Uh, signing day is just kind of the end point. The, the beginning point's a little bit more obscure. It's a long process. Uh, when we finally get them to signing day, it's always a big uh, sign of relief for, for our staff and I know for the prospects as well. This is your second recruiting class. The first one, Dan Enos had recruited those players. How excited are you to work with guys that, like you said, you've been watching for the next for the last couple of years? Well, it's about relationships. So the sooner those start, the, the longer you're able to cultivate them. Uh, you're, it's great to be able to reap the fruits of your reward. This particular class, we had a goal as a staff to get bigger and faster. We feel like we've accomplished that. Six of the players are stand six four or taller and six of them have run 11-2 or faster in the 100. So uh, it's a good class, it's spread out, it's pretty evenly distributed offensively, defensively, and even uh, we even have a kicker on board. I know we're gonna talk about him, but uh, uh, very good class overall, and we're excited to watch these guys grow and develop in our program over the next four to five years. Speaking of that kicker, you must be a mind reader. Brady Buell, a Traverse City St. Francis grad, What's it going to be like to have him in Mount Pleasant this upcoming well, fall? You know, Brady's going to come in and compete. Uh, we had uh, the luxury of having him in camp this past summer. He did a very good job for us there. Uh, then we, you know, continued to watch him and, and monitor him. He had a great senior year. He's a strong-legged guy. Uh, you know, the mental aspect for a kicker specialist is, is always important as well. Very, very important. And, you know, Brady's uh, an excellent student. He's got a great head on his shoulder and he's got a great future at Central. Another signee is Brandon Brown. Brandon Brown comes from Buffalo, New York. Uh, interesting story about Brandon is uh, he came out for spring practice last year and his only way to get to Mount Pleasant was via Greyhound bus. So he took the 12 hour bus ride. Uh, we were one of the first uh, schools to offer him. At the end, we were really in a battle with both Boston College and Rutgers. Uh, he was an early commitment to us. He, he stuck by his commitment. Uh, you know, he's really a versatile guy that could play on either side of the ball, either offensively as a slot receiver, even running back, or uh, where we're projecting him right now is at the corner position. He's also an excellent kick returner, kick and punt returner. So he's a, a dynamic player with the ball in his hand, and you know, we're really excited about Brandon. On signing day, you said you were really excited about this 6'5 player. <laughs> Keegan, Keegan Kasu is from uh, Greenville, so only about an hour from campus. Again, one of the first players that I offered when I got here, I think we offered uh, Keegan off of his sophomore film. Uh, he has continued to grow and develop and definitely not disappointed. Uh, d dis didn't disappoint us, that's for sure. He's, uh, at the end, he had numerous power fives, some big 10 schools after him. Uh, Central was the place where he wanted to be, and we're really excited about him. Tight end's an important position in our offense, and you know Keegan's a guy that's going to play a lot of football here in the future. John Bonamigo, thank you for joining us Thanks in the studio. Us. Chippewas hold their spring game on Saturday, April 22nd. Stay tuned to 9 and 10 News for full coverage.